My name is Famke and I'm a player on the national women's baseball team of the Netherlands. Um, I'm 23 years old. Uh, I've been with the Dutch national team since 2014. Um, and I've played three World Cups and one Euros. Um, um, my positions are third base and catcher and last Euros I made my debut as a pitcher as well. Um, outside of baseball I like to play soccer, uh, watch Netflix uh, with my best friend and I uh, like chilling out, um, chilling, hanging with friends. Um, now due to COVID that became making long walks, going on long walks with friends. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of who I am. Um, how I became acquainted with baseball is um, I went to a tournament that's in um, the Harlem's Hongbeweg, which is um, nearby, and my mom used to go there for fun, for uh, the atmosphere, for um, the crowd, everything around it. Uh, it's an amazing tournament um, and she, I wanted to go forever and uh, finally when I was five years old um, she took me uh, and I fell in love with the game, asked her heaps, heaps of questions about the game, um, just really loved the intensity and the mind games that go in it and uh, the mental aspects and the fact that you have to think before, beforehand and yeah, I, I just I fell in love with the game, so I made her um, sign me up for uh, for my local club. And after playing there for it's a very tiny club, so after I played there for t uh, for two years, I think I moved to um, the club to the in in the next town, which is bigger, and I still play there, and I love it there. They're great people. Um, I play with the men. So not with the women, but with the men, and they're they're all they're awesome, really. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I'm still doing. So I, I never left, um, basically. Um, normally I got I got very lucky. Um, the guys I play with now are amazing, um, and uh, but I. Along the way, I also tried for some selections, and there were some difficulties. Me being a woman, um, playing among men, uh, among men. So, what I um, what I encountered was uh, one time I tried out for a selection. They were gonna play, I think it was juniors. They were gonna play Div One, um, and I tried out. I was. Um, not the best there, but like I was all right, and um, yeah, the parents complained to the coach that if uh, I would make the team, uh, they would um, keep their boy, like their son. They would pull him from the team because their son wasn't gonna play with a girl. Um, they thought their older son, like all the parents, thought that their son, that their sons were gonna make it in America, gonna make it big. Well, they never did. No surprises there. Um, but um, yeah, their son was gonna play with a girl, so I um, didn't make the team because it was either me and no team or no me and having a team. So it was made sense. Um, but yeah, that, that's a difficulty. But in the end, um, I still ended up playing Div One. Not that year, but like a couple years later, I still played Juniors Div One. Uh, with my own team, we made it. We had a very good, uh, good team, and I still made it. We came in second of the entire country, so that's not bad. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So um, I overcome those kind of difficulties. You can overcome as a lady, like as a woman. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to play on the men's team. There should always be one. That is your level, and you let you determine your level based on your skills, and uh, not based on your gender. I feel, um, yeah. So that was one of the difficulties I overcame. Another difficulty is, I think, injuries. Always injuries. My shoulders, uh, well, not great. Um, some issues here and there, but um, my physio appointment. My physio is very sweet. He tries to fix it every. 
he tries to fix it um, again and again. So we're good on that. That'll help. Um, we'll overcome that just by working hard and don't throw when your physio tells you to throw. That's really good, good advice. Um, yeah, and, and other difficulties like it's baseball, you get hit by the ball and then you're a bit scared of the ball. Got hit in the face a couple times. Um, got hit in the hand, broke my hand. Um, so and then to get back, your mind needs to take a step to um, be not like to not be scared anymore. Um, and that just takes time and a lot of practice. Uh, everything comes with practice and putting in effort. And I think if you put in enough effort, you put in the time, the energy, um, then it'll be all right. Like you can overcome practically anything. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, some memorable experience from me, um, baseball-wise, are um, definitely going to Australia. Um, not too long ago. Um, yeah, I went for school. I went to Australia. I knew they had a women's div there, and I kind of rocked up to a club. And then next year they um, invited me back. Um, so I played a whole season for them, whole summer season, and that was amazing. Um, best experience ever uh, with Scrape Bulldogs. Um, yeah, in Melbourne they're great. Um, so that was that was really good. Playing for uh, State Victoria was awesome too. Um, totally different experience, but uh, is that uh, I went to Cuba with the Canadian team. Um, well, not the Canadian team, but like they have a girls' development camp, um, and yeah, I got invited along when I was like 17 years old, and it was amazing. Met so many lovely people there. Um, yeah, Cuba is is gorgeous. Playing baseball there was amazing too. Um, yeah, so that's definitely an experience, and of course, all the World Cups I've been to, like. Been the three now, should have been four, but you know, COVID and everything. Um, yeah, so each of each one of those was a very memorable experience too, and and they have to be because that's what you play for. You play for big tournaments and actually playing them and winning some games and having fun. Because for us uh, as a national team, we're not professionals. We don't get paid to do this, so. Our tournaments are our holidays. That's what we do for fun. Um, besides, like uh, some people go to <laughs> some people go to the beach, and we go to a baseball tournament in God knows where. So um, yeah, the, all of those are absolutely memorable experiences. Um, Japan in 2014 being memorable because it was my first one. I was 16 years old. I had no idea what was going on. First at bat was crazy against Canada. I saw a curveball I've never seen in my entire life. Um, yeah, so you learn from that, but that was very memorable. And then second, um, Worlds in Korea 216 was amazing because we actually won some games. We played really well as a team. We played, in, we actually played well. Um, and I won a personal award, so that was a personal memorable experience. But overall as a team, um, it was amazing. Uh, we, were, we had so much fun also on the bus rides and that's just it. When you're together as a team, that's a memorable experience already. Like, of course, you can't like everyone, but like overall being together as a team is amazing. And then last year, Florida, or like last year, last world, Florida was amazing um, in a different way. We didn't win as much, um, but um, yeah, being in the USA, like the home of baseball is always special um, having more weather delays than ever was special um, have, being it like working to adjust like having to adjust to the situation was very difficult but also a great learning experience um, have to be that flexible um, yeah and then euros obviously I made my pitching debut that was very memorable and we played uh, pretty well we almost won Almost, we didn't, but we almost won. Um, 
yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to the next tournament and make, like, add another experience to the list. So, yeah, that, that, that is what you look forward to, that's what you strive to, so, um, yeah. My goal in life, I don't really have a goal in life, I really, I don't have a few, I want to be there in 30 years, nah, like, right now, I want to graduate college and get my omni work and get COVID out of the door, um, basically get, get, like, to be able to do stuff again, play baseball, play competition, um, and, and, and play, play well at, uh, at the next worlds and next euros and, and so on and so forth but um not a goal in life no i i, I uh, don't i'll see i'll see what happens if we're going left we're going left if we're going right we're going right that's all so my advice to other athletes um have fun in what you do in life in what you do um if you're not having fun anymore quit i guess it's fine um so um, yeah i think i think that's that's how i've been living life at least if i if i don't enjoy something at one point i wasn't enjoying soccer anymore so i quit just chose baseball put all my effort in that and then after a while i i missed it and i wanted to go back so i i, I did that so fill your life with positive with positives because I was gonna throw some nasty shit at you, and I think if you enjoy the basics of what you're doing, then you'll be fine. Um, other advice would be make mistakes, make mistakes, um, and own up to them. Don't blame someone else. I hate it when people blame someone else for their own mistakes. Um, so yeah, you're allowed to make mistakes, so it's alright to admit that you made them. Uh, also on the field, like if you made an error, it's fine. If you're throwing, <laughs> if you're throwing it first in the dirt, don't blame it on your first baseman that he should have picked it. Um, yeah, just say like, oh, I'll I'll do better. Um, yeah, other advice is one advice that I uh, came about today actually. Um, someone was well, something I almost forgot. But you should always train until you don't train until you throw the ball right once. Train until you throw all the balls right. Um, until you don't make any mistakes anymore. Um, yeah, put in the effort and you can accomplish everything, anything you want. That's basically it. It's very cheesy, but yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, that's basically it from my side. Uh, I don't have any other interesting stories, especially not the ones lately. Um, nothing's been happening. Um, gotta love COVID. Um, yeah, so that was it. See you guys later.